So let's see. I haven't seen you physically. Yeah. I thought it was 86, but you said it was 84. It's 84 because I I moved from Marshall the year that my grade was going into ninth grade. So we, okay. The first okay. yeah. So so my last year in Marshall was 1982. Wow. Um, when, whenever they moved, remember they moved the seventh and the eighth grade well, yeah. into the old high school. Absolutely. And which was cool. We were the first seventh grade class there, me and Brent. That's right, because everybody else went to Price T. Young. Uh huh. Which I went to Price T. Young. Well, yeah, I can see why. I uh, got several no. paddling. Price T. Young Price was T. Young. it. That was the school. Was it the one closest to us? It was seventh grade only, right? Price it T. Was Young. Seventh grade only. Okay. Yeah, and I, and I, you know, I couldn't tell you where it was in Marshall now, because it's been so long. I mean, so, we're talking uh, 40 years since I've lived in Marshall, yeah, Texas. Yeah, you're pretty old, brother. I'm an old. <laughs> I'm old son biscuit eater. I'll tell great, you that right now. Right here is on his uh, little. But um, so so yes. Um, and then after we moved, that following summer. You know, I, I, well, I told my parents, I, let me tell you something, right now, Marshall, Texas was some of the best times of my life. Oh, my gosh, yes. And you yeah. boys and John, Troy Gilreath, and Mike Long were all a part of it. Yeah. Um, I was devastated the day my dad told me we were moving to Paul's Valley, oh, Oklahoma. Oh, man, yeah. I said, Paul's Valley? <laughs> Who's got a town named Paul Valley? <laughs> yeah. But anyway, and I'm wow. originally from Oklahoma, so that didn't bother me. Buddy. Oh, see, I didn't know that. Yeah, I was okay. originally. I, we moved to Marshall, Texas, from Bartlesville, Oklahoma. Okay. But okay. Uh, so now, how long were you totally in Marshall? How long? I was in Marshall for five years. Okay. It would have been. Uh, it would have been seventy-seven to eighty-two. It would have been. Okay. Yeah. So I was like, I started in the fourth grade at David Crockett Elementary. Mm-hmm. Mrs. Uh, oh goodness, what was my teacher? Hold on, what grade? Fourth grade. So there was Miss Wyatt. She was our fourth grade teacher. Okay, I didn't have Miss Wyatt. Okay. Ah. Uh, who who was your fourth was grade? Was it Miss Wallace? God, I can't remember. I Miss Clevenger for third grade, and then I had who was my fourth grade? But then Mrs. Willis. There you go. Mrs. Oh, okay. Willis was my fourth grade teacher. Okay. And, oh, I loved her. Oh, I loved. Her. And then you had Mr. Wilburn. Then Mr. The Wilburn hall. would come Fifth down grade. the hall, and you could hear him before he gets in. We had your taps class. on his shoes. Yeah. He was coming down there. A one time. Times one is one. one. Yep. A one, one times time two, two is two. two. <laughs> you know. And oh yeah. Went all the way through. But anyway, um, so we had to move, and then I told my parents, I said, I want to go back and see my buddies. Yeah. I want to go back and see Brandy, and I want to see, I want to see all of them. And so they made it a point those following every summers, summer, every summer, that uh, they drive me back down, and you guys were good enough to open up your homes, and well, I was see, able to re reunite with my buddies. I thought you came down every summer till we graduated, but I guess we didn't. No. Okay. No, didn't do it. To, well, you know, I mean, uh, I got to be a junior in high school, and I had a girlfriend. Oh, so that, that changed everything. That. that changed everything. Yeah. Girls always ruin it. Looking back, I probably should have <laughs> just gone back to Marshall. Yeah, <laughs> but nonetheless. And then, so you left when we were going into when we were going into ninth. No, we were going into eighth grade you guys when were you going left. Into eighth grade. I was going in ninth. Okay, so me and John and Brent were going in eighth were grade. Were we the first ones that went into the old? We high were the first seventh grade class. He was the first eighth grade class. I went into the old high. School. The old high school. So we were together there. So Weaver upset our world when he left. And then you upset our world in our junior right. year. I'm like, what the heck? Everybody's leaving. So Chang and I were the only ones yeah. still there. Now, you have a crazy story about Chang, about when we had the video arcade. Yeah. All right. So so here we were. I mean, we were always together in the neighborhood, either riding our bikes. I think this was, I want to say... For some reason, John wasn't with us this one time. He wasn't. I think we were we were going to go see Troy. We were walking across Warren Drive to see, to see Troy Gilry. And all of a sudden, we hear this, Bandy <laughs> Arcade. And we're looking around. <laughs> like, what? 
and way down Warren Drive near the highway, we see this guy, <laughs> this guy riding the, riding his bike without that. He's not holding the handles. He's, he's got like his arms up. Arcade. <laughs> and and he gets closer, and and Brandy goes, "That's John." <laughs> What is he doing? What is he saying? We and we couldn't quite figure it out. So finally, John gets to us, completely breathless, completely breathless, <laughs> sweating because you know his, I think it was toward the end of school, so it was obviously hot in Marshall. Yeah, and they had put in a brand new arcade. Oh my just god! Right down the that house, was our right world. Down the road from us. That was our world, was. dude. A quarter meant a game of galley. That's right. I, mean, I had a quarter. I was a game. I mean, a, a handful of quarters, like a five dollars, because we could be there all day. Oh Nowadays, man! Nowadays, that one can get you about an hour or two. Well, oh, my, my ten dollar allowance that week lasted about an hour yeah. at that arcade. Oh you guys my don't gosh! Remember. I wasn't yes. very good at the games, but by God, I was trying. I was the king of Gallagher, brother. Yes, I'm were. telling you, people uh, lined up to what now. Now Chang was my was uh, my best friend, but he but he was my seeing in the kung fu world, which means he was my older kung fu brother. That's right. Yeah. So I always looked up to him. So he always pushed me in kung fu and in everything else. He was here and I'd climb up, and then he'd go here and I'd climb up. That's right. Well, Chang got really good at Galaga, and I said, "Oh no, no, no! I will destroy him in Galaga." <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. I got good. He got to like level forty four. I said. I'm going all the way. I got to level 60, brother. Well, I remember you. We, I'm, I'm a living we, legend in that game. Well, there were times where <laughs> you and Chang were playing each other, and there was a crowd behind you, yes. and you didn't even know it. No, oh, they're watching us, man. Everybody was watching you. I, could, I, I was so good that I could be playing and turn and have a conversation with everybody while I killed aliens. <laughs> And go to the next level. I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> and now, now get this. Now this is this is a true story. Chain calls me up on my phone. You know, this is back in the day. I was privileged. I had my own telephone. Yeah, my own telephone right. line that ran to my own I room. I remember that. Now I remember. I remember the number to this day. And I'm sorry if any of you out there have this number in Marshall, Texas. But I remember this number, eight two five eight one. That was my personal number that rang to the Brandy Jones headquarters <laughs> in my room. That's right. And it was a yellow that. telephone. Mom and Dad got it for me. Had them online. Back then, we didn't have to dial 903. What was that? Yeah. We, we you, just dialed the number. Just boom, boom, boom. Yeah. Just, yeah. With the rotary. Yeah, rotary. <laughs> yeah, I think ours was uh, right there between the kitchen and the living room. Yeah. But I remember whenever Mom and Dad got the long... Long cord. Oh, yeah. You could go all over the house. And I was in my room then with the phone. So. With talking to the girls oh, like yeah, that. that's big deal. <laughs> that was real big deal. Yeah. Whenever so, the girls would call. <laughs> so Chang so Chang calls me and he goes, he's whispering now. Because he didn't have a phone in his room. He had it in his kitchen. I, I remember the layout of his house. He had the kitchen phone right there. Yeah. But and he's and he's whispering. I can see it. And he's he's covering his mouth like this. And he's like, Brandy, you gotta get over here. And I'm like, What is it, John? And he goes, I can't tell you on the phone. <laughs> like like maybe the CIA is like, listening in. <laughs> So I'm like, I hung up the phone and I ran in the kitchen. And I said, I got to go to John's. Why you got to go to John's, son? And I don't know. That, that is exactly your dad. Yeah, that's what my that dad That is said. Morris right there. That's what he said. Oh, my God. <laughs> Why you got to go to John's, son? Because it's probably 6 o'clock time for dinner. So I got oh I got to go to I gotta go to John's. So I'm getting on my bicycle and I'm riding to John's as fast as my little legs will carry me. So I get to the house. I'm going to knock on the door. The door comes open. And John pulls me inside. And he's like, to my room. We go we go to his room. To my room. To my room. We go to his room. It's just Chang and I in the room. Now, unless he's got cameras going on, I don't know what's happening. But it's just John and I in the room. He's looking around like, like somebody's going to listen to us. Somebody might come out of the closet. And he's got something behind his back. And I'm like, what do you got behind your back? He's pulling it out and he goes, you can't tell anybody what I'm about to show you. Yeah. And I'm like, dude, what do you got? He looks around and he goes up and listens to where his parents are. He pulls out this book and it's the secrets of Pac-Man and Galaga. He got a book somehow <laughs> that had the secrets of the video game. Where did he get that? I have Pac-Man? no idea where he got this. So we're reading it and I'm, my eyes got this big and I'm like, yeah. I start looking around. I'm yeah. like, dude, where'd you get this book? <laughs> I'm gonna get in trouble. <laughs> yeah, we, they're gonna find us. <laughs> 
break. We start we start flipping the pages. I'm not kidding you. It tells you the secrets of which way to take the Pac-Man yeah. around so the so the monsters can't get us. Yeah. So I'm flipping the pages. I'm absorbing this, Weaver. Yeah, I'm you're telling just going you. forward. You're just trying to get to the end thinking, okay. Dude, I, dude, I, do? I had to I had to get to Galaga. I, I flipped the pages as fast as I could to get to Galaga. I learned the secret to get to Galaga. Did I share it with anybody? No way, man. I'm sitting there playing the game, and I'm looking and talking to the ladies, playing, and, and I ain't got to do a thing but push the button and do move the joystick. Now, out of all of us, who got the Atari first? Oh, the, the chain had the Atari first. I had an Atari. I, oh, I knew but I, I don't know who got it first. I don't remember when I got Atari for Christmas, but <laughs> yeah, one of us, you know, I mean, I remember getting, my game was Frogger. That's the one I always yeah. Frogger, I mean, oh I yeah. I remember getting Pac-Man, but yeah, Frogger was the one. Frogger I was the all. game. Well, I remember I was quite upset because the, I don't think Galaga ever came out on Atari. Cause it did, it but did it eventually, but it was terrible. Yeah, I mean, I, I think I was really excited when Space Invaders came out for Atari. That wasn't too bad of a version. Yeah, and then uh, what was the one? Uh, missile. Um, missile Command. Missile Command. Command. Oh, yeah. my goodness. You know, goodness it came it. with, I think the game was Defender. That was Defender was game. good. You could actually flip your ship around the other direction. Yes. That yes. was amazing. Yeah, I love, but now, I like Missile that. Command was unique because it had the ball. Remember, you could roll the ball but and not push with Atari. the and, No, not with Never. Atari. But at the, I'm talking arcade, brother. Oh, okay, you're at back. The, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm back in the real world. I'm back with the, I'm back with the ball that you could roll. You back to where you, to where you were in control. That's right. <laughs> roll the angry. ball, roll the ball, push the button, push the button, roll the ball. Right. That man, I, that was the world. And then remember, asteroids, you could actually do a 360 yes. and kill everything around you. Yeah, even though they, even though what you were killing was was rocks. And you remember the first driving game they had was called Pole Position. Pole Position. That's right. Oh Pole position. yeah. Did anybody 